Well, spring turkey season's over again for another year. Uh, I thought I'd do just a little quick video on showing how you can take your turkey spurs and uh, preserve them. Uh, you can use them for multiple different things. I've shown in the past how to. You can put them on uh, your quiver. Uh, here's a little necklace I've made using turkey spurs. I've got uh, some of the black here. This is uh, buffalo horn and then this is a deer antler that's in between them but pretty easy I mean it's it's not a whole lot to it but uh, here's a few of the spurs these are as you can see they're they're frozen make it easier to cut on the bandsaw you can use hacksaw but bandsaw I, I freeze them the whole the whole leg and that way you can just take it over now and run it on the bandsaw and everything's still solid so it makes it uh, cutting them pretty easy so we'll head over to the bandsaw now there's a couple ways that you can you can cut these a uh, one you can do like I showed earlier and put a, a bead or a spacer in between and so if you do it that way you're gonna want to cut it right next to the spur on this side and right next to the spur on this side and so that way you just got a narrow piece of uh, leg bone that you're working with. If you want to kind of cut it with a built-in spacer, add about a quarter of an inch on both sides of the spur. That way when you lace them up on a uh, piece of leather a thong or string or so forth, there's, you've already got a built-in spacer and, and your spurs will be spaced a little further apart. So in this case we're just going to go ahead and we're going to add uh, a bead, a bone bead, or something later so we're going to cut them narrow we're going to cut them right right beside the spur on both sides so we'll go ahead and start that. Okay, there's our our piece that we've cut off. You can see the the tendons on this side. There's the leg bone tomorrow on the inside, and there's uh, some tendon on the back side. Uh, we get get these all cut, and then we'll take them take them inside, and we'll show how to clean it up from from this point. All right, we've got them got them cut. So now all you do now is just take a, a sharp knife, and I like to just cut in. Right alongside the, get that in the mount in the view, and peel that uh, skin back, and go back to the other side, and cut just uh, just along the the spur, and then as you as you cut down, just peel that skin there, and that'll take. There's the skin, and then now you've got you've got his bone. So then you can take. push that little chunk of bone marrow out. So now you got the bone marrow out and you still got there might be just a little little meat but you can use your knife and finish trimming trimming the meat out. And now we'll take uh, we'll get all these done and then what we're gonna do is just uh, pour them in a, a cup with some salt and that'll pull the moisture off and, and help cure what's left. Okay here's all our turkey spurs just kind of dried them a little bit on a paper towel to get some of the moisture off. Now I'm just taking and drop all of these in this cup that we've got. Then all we're going to use is just regular, regular salt and just cover those, cover them with salt. Stick them away, and I usually let them just dry for. Week, week and a half, two weeks, somewhere in there. Just let them dry real good. I've got a couple that I had left over from last fall. So instead of waiting for the ones we just worked on to dry real good, we'll just uh, use these. What I'll take is that you can use anything. You can use sandpaper, uh, a file, 
uh, whatever works good. I've got just a, a little file and I like to just, doesn't take much, just go around inside and it kind of uh, smooths off any saw kerfs from where you from where you cut it. Just work that over real good. And then I like to uh, also bevel the outside. Like I say, it doesn't it doesn't take a whole lot. You can see it's a lot of that is just cleaning off. And do and do both sides. It all depends on how smooth you. You kind of like those edges. So we'll get that done, and we'll 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 finish it up. We'll do both of these real quick and finish it up. All right, we've got them all sanded down, cleaned up. Now the last item that I like to put on is just some clear nail polish. And it just coats it and gives it a and gives it a nice look. Kind of seals the seals the outside of it and gives it just a little more shine. Makes it look neat. Okay, that's all there is to it. You let those dry and they're ready to ready to be used.